Good dog. Now you can see with these livestock, these pups have got no idea what they're doing, but the livestock are so good that they've got a fair chance of success. So we can build a bit of confidence in these young dogs. Hopefully they're genetically correct and make position. Good dog. That's not too bad. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, there, a couple of mine out of that red bitch that Sean's got some pups over there by now. Uh, out of now. Watch him there. She having a wee? That's a sneak wee, isn't it? Good girl. Right, so now I can get a bit of flow into it. Don't worry about the turn too much. And you can see with these sort of pups, you don't have to be much of a trainer. You can just walk around, you got your livestock right because you've done that with your older dogs and all your good dogs. All your good dogs. So yeah, you get a bit of a mistake, they're gonna make mistakes. But the cattle are so forgiving. That they can learn. Good dog, watch him there. Good dog, watch him there. Look, look. Look, look. Now we'll get in a situation where we might get in trouble. So we'll just try to save it. Good dogs. Good dogs, watch him. Good cattle. Good cattle, watch him. Watch him now. Good boy. You can see those young dogs, because they're putting pressure on in the right place, and they're calm but strong, they've got a high probability of success. And I don't have to really do much other than block them, and I can do that a little bit with that sound because as pups I've taught them to keep out of my space with that sh -sh sound. Now let's see if we can get a little bit of force. Oh, that'll do it. Good dog. Good dog. Watch him there. So how do they know that? I just believe it's inherent in dogs that that double whistle means lift your rate because there's no way they've been taught that other than maybe they've heard a bit in a few games we play, swimming and chasing footballs and things. Because as young dogs, they've had a few games. Good boy. So see, I can get him to go, and then I can get him to stop crossing by. And that way I don't have to go back in and crawl the lead of my livestock. I don't have to be there with a stick because I've sort of got that verbal stick, if you know what I mean. So what are you thinking, are they going all right? You get a job done with them without a lot of training. And you can see with dogs like that, if you just take them to work now, they're just gonna get better, more confident, they'll get better and you'll get jobs done. Speak. Eight months. We'll see if we can get some barrel. Just put the pressure on. Good dog, watch. Walking. Speak. Dog, watch him. Speak. Chief, coming up up. Chief, up up. Good girl. Righto, any questions?